Hi everybody, Chase Raz here, and I'm going to try to one-take wonder this, because I know that um, at the time of recording, some of you are waiting on videos from me to follow up to my video on how to do this liquidity mining thing. There are more videos coming, there's a whole bunch. Uh, I don't want to put too much of that in here in this video, because I like it to be as evergreen as possible, and in the future, when you watch, none of this will matter anyway. But for right now, here in early 2021, I want to just say we're at the point where I put the initial amount in the pool uh what a couple of weeks ago now and so when we come back to manage our pool i just want to give you a, a little bit of a walkthrough of what's here what are we looking at what should we be taking away from the information that's here to manage our pool we're not going to go into in permanent loss yet we're not going to go into those topics they're coming uh, again that's the stuff that won't matter in the future it'll all be here but it's a big content drop coming so thank you for your patience and waiting on it i may even delete this video i i don't know uh, once it's here. So when we get our potential rewards, of course, you see they're talking about swap there. And so this is a yield. And that is very important to what we're going to talk about in this video. That's very important in those videos that are coming in the future. This is a yield of Zillswap saying we're going to offer some yield farming. We're going to give you a secondary token in addition to your actual daily earning, right? And so addition to the ROI, this is what we call yield. So the potential rewards, as you see here, is over the epoch. The epoch is, uh, I think, ex a week exactly on Zillswap, somewhere in there. I think it's seven days. So this is how much Zwap you stand to earn. Remember, I went in in this tutorial series with the bare minimum, the smallest amount of these things you could go on, or maybe slightly over that. So I have no trouble showing these numbers. This isn't my personal um, liquidity pool information. So if you're in this pool... You're somewhere around the minimum, the minimum you could be doing at this point in time as of recording is 0 0.02539 swap. Again, I went just above minimum. What's the point? This is yield. Don't forget that. This is yield. That's going to be very important in a moment. So it's saying over that seven day period ish, you'll make about 1149. So you could calculate your, your daily yield on that if you want to just divide by seven. The ROI is interesting. Um, and we'll talk about this more in just a moment. If you're a business person like me, if you're a financial person, if you have just worked in or for businesses, if you've worked with returns on investments at all, let me just tell you, this is not an ROI. This says ROI. I can read it just like you can, but it's not an ROI. What this is over here is telling you what you're likely to be earning daily, and it's just a snapshot. I'm not 100% sure of the frequency of those snapshots just yet. I, I am reviewing the code. In fact, on my other screen to the side, I have the variables, the constants that power these very cal uh, calculations, and I'm looking at them in real time. I, I still haven't gone through to look at what frequency are these snapshots being taken. But what's my point about this not being an ROI? Well, this is why yield was important. This particular return on investment is your ROI from being in the pool plus your yield from Zwap. Look, I'm not going to go into some big, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to go into my university instructor role here and say, that's not an ROI. Let's not do this. We could look at every DEX in the world and I'm not sure. Maybe this is standard. But coming from the business point of view, if you're like me, you have to understand this is not an ROI unless you make it an ROI. You say, well, what is that? What does that mean? This is if you put into the pool and out of the pool at whatever your frequency is. You would say, like, if I'm going to do for a year, I put in at a year, I take everything out in a year and liquidate it, liquidate it all into the same thing. That's the only way that this could be viewed as an ROI. For the rest of us, what does that mean? Again, this is the actual return on the pool you're getting and your yield. So a little bit disingenuous there, but I, I'm, I'm hesitant to use that word because I don't think anybody's duping you. I don't think they're being disingenuous. It's just from the fact of the definition that this is not the ROI. It's artificially propped up, if you will, by incorporating this yield, right? So you're, you're being shown the amount that you have claim to in the pool as well. This is where in the future in other videos we'll talk about in permanent loss. If you were to reference the video I made weeks ago publishing or publishing, putting this money into the pool, 
putting these two tokens, these two assets into the pool, you would notice that I had more GZIL and some of my GZIL has disappeared. That's impermanent loss. I, I, I thank you for your patience. We are getting to those topics. They're just very large to put together in a clear, concise, informative way that also won't bore you. <laughs> and so when that content dam breaks, so to speak, there will be a lot of content coming at you quickly to get you up to speed because a lot of it's repurposable. What do we do with this? At this point, nothing. And, and I know that sounds bad, but what we really need to do is deep dive into the information of how this works. Um, many of you know that I've reverse engineered a very, very um, basic iteration of a DEX in order to model it in Excel. That doesn't mean I have a functioning DEX in Excel, right? That's not what that means. Um, and I'll go through that at another time. But what we do with it is we use this as a speedometer, right? We use this as a speedometer. What does that mean? If you take a trip from Orlando to Ontario and you're driving and you want a snapshot in real time of how the trip is going, you might look at your speedometer. And I'm going to use the same example in future videos. You might look at your speedometer. That speedometer tells you how fast you're going. In this case, how what the rate is that you're earning. It doesn't tell you anything about where you've been, how fast you went through there, right? You look down and you see in miles or kilometers per hour how fast you're going. And if you're going 100 kilometers per hour, there's no guarantee that you're not going to slow down to 40 in the future. These are just snapshots, the daily snapshot of the health of the pool. This gives you a little bit of um, understanding of the transactions that are happening. This gives you an understanding of, the, it doesn't tell you anything about the size of the pool, right? Because that's already factored in by directly telling you how much you have. It, I, I'm sorry to keep coming back to it. It's a speedometer here, right? There's not much you're going to do with this immediately right now we'll, we'll get into in the future what you can do with it i was going to another tab thought i had it open sorry i'm just doing this as a quick one take here on friday afternoon because i know so many folks want this information i don't want to keep you waiting anymore while the the bigger heavier content gets uh made so when we look at the pools overview page the same accident of naming happens here. This daily ROI is for the pool itself, whatever pool you're in. So if you're in Zwapzil, here. If you're in Gzilzil, right here. This is the one I'm in. Now you may notice that there can be a disconnect between these two numbers, 0.53%, 0 0.5, uh, 0.52%. Look, I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. Uh, I'm still digging into the code to figure out when the snapshots are taken, my, my assumption right now is the biggest difference. Maybe someone at Zilka, probably Hanwen could correct me. Somebody at Switchio could correct me. Comments, DM me. You guys know how to reach me. I think the biggest difference in these two numbers right now is because of when the snapshot is being taken. At least that's my operating theory that I have yet to test. So I'm not worried about it right now. It can vary. A little bit uh, never too much it doesn't seem though so uh, again all of that's conditional on more information but the naming problem exists here as well the daily ROI is not really a daily ROI the, the the daily ROIs I've been calculating by the way are widely variable widely variable so you do want a larger snap I, I agree with the decision that's being made here to take a larger snapshot and I don't mean larger over the whole pool I mean over a larger period of time, over the seven day period, because I mean, I've seen drastic swings from literally negative ROI one day to 9%, I, I think it was, since I'm just doing a one take, you're here with me, you can put me on two times playback if you want, that's what I do with everybody, um, well, yeah, I've seen, I had a day at negative 0.3%, and we, uh, well, I've been tracking and I've seen days positive almost 3% in one day. The longer period of time I agree with um, what this particular DEX is doing. But again, we can't get away from the fact that this is not an ROI. Except for one exception. Where if you, remember I said this before, if you were to liquidate everything at the end of the run and treat it all as US dollars or Singapore dollars or some other third party thing... If that was your motive, then then yeah, you could consider this an ROI. But technically, 
if you gave, okay, at my university, if you were a student of mine and you gave me this, I would say, well, no, the number's not wrong if somebody's going to do those things, but this isn't what you were tasked to do. This isn't what the liquidity provider wants and the dashboard for a pool. I'm not picking on ZillSwap here. I'm not picking on Zillica. I'm not picking on Switchio. For all I know, every single DEX in the world could do it the same way. It, it still, it's to the point, whether it's functional and common, doesn't make the terminology right. So I don't want to beat that point too much. Likewise, you then see an APY. This is, I think, where we're getting thrown off as people because you see the daily ROI and the APY and there feels like a disconnect. If you're familiar with how to change your rate of return from daily to weekly to monthly to yearly to a completely random period, when you use that annualization function, probably has another name because it doesn't have to be annual. When you use that function, here's what we get, folks. Big reveal here, and I want to start wrapping this up for the sake of your time. The daily ROI is simply being annualized. That's it. That's all that's going on here. I can verify that with the code behind the scenes. Somebody could come and tell me that, hey, you're misunderstanding or you're wrong. I have the code base. Thank you, by the way, Crypto Gang. You're on Twitter. You're on Telegram, Crypto Gang. You are the person who got me into the right place with that code. Thank you so much for that. I have the code right here, right? It's open source. I'm looking at it. This is an annualized, this is the annualized form of that daily ROI. I can mathematically prove it. I can show it in the code. That's accidentally disingenuous. No one's, no one's pulling your leg here. I can safely say that looking at the code, looking at these numbers, but. I know that's confusing. I know that these labels are not what we as liquidity providers expect. We want more valid data sets, right? Like if you're a stock investor, you want that 10 K annually, you want that 10 Q quarterly and, and you know, damn it, it better conform to a particular expectation. Look, the, the DeFi industry and open finance industry, it's not, I don't think it's there yet. So to be more constructive about this rather than, you know, complaining about it or, or anything like that, I would say let's understand what it is. Keep these dialogues open. I know some of you have come to me and say, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I get that, right? As a business instructor, that labeling, no, <laughs> right? Like I'm ready to get my red pen out. No. But that's not a reflection on the people who made it. That's not a reflection on the developers who developed this. That's not a reflection on the source code base that they may have pulled from. It's just part of the evolution. So know this, empower yourself. The daily ROI is a snapshot based on the return you're getting from the 0.3% on transactions plus the yield from Zwap. But just know that these terms are incorrect. The daily ROI is your ROI plus your yield Luckily, they're doing it over a larger period of time than just one day. Otherwise, you'd see the swing wildly. Um, yeah, so that helps. And then the APY is not a yield at all. It's the annualized form of the combination of the return and the yield. Look, I know I've said that a lot. And some of you may be watching this video going, oh my goodness, he's over 10 minutes and still saying the same thing over and over. Again, two times playback or bye-bye, see you later. <laughs> um, my, and I'm not saying that to be mean, but my point is, I know for a number of you, I'm hitting a chord. I'm hitting a chord that you've needed hit for a while here that what are the terms that should be there? This is daily ROI plus yield. This is annualized. That's it. Think about it from in those terms. You can do a little bit of that. You, if, if you know those formulas or can look them up, you can go ahead and do that math and confirm it. I confirmed it in a couple of calls with other folks. We were trying some numbers, again, verified it, looked in the code base, verified it. Um, you can compare that against the volume and the total liquidity um, and your share of it, even if you want to go back to yours, your pool information, because here, here's the secret. Want to know the secret? This information right here, I think the snapshot may be happening at a different time or the same time. And what's happening is this little number right here, your pool share is being applied. When you go and calculate these things, you'll find little discrepancies, but understand rounding is happening here. I have confirmed, 100% have confirmed, that my pool share is not 0.002%. It's 0 .001 um, something, right? There's rounding happening here. However, I'm still digging into this. I believe 
one thing that's throwing some of your calculations off is, and I haven't found this in the code base, so I'm not going to make any claim on it. I believe, I have reason to believe at this point that the rounding may always be round up. I'm looking for that function. I'm looking for whether they used round up, round down, or round. I believe, could be wrong, that the function utilized was a round up function, which is going to throw some of your calculations off, and you're going to look at this and go, this isn't right. This information's not right. And especially when you're dealing with a high percentage, like 0.5% a day between your ROI and your yield, you can get, when you're trying to annualize this, you can get wild variations in your calculations if you're off by a 10,000th of a, well, that's hard to say. I'm just going to leave it as is, of a percent. I hope this has helped as a stopgap between the videos I've promised. I also hope the ability I've been able to talk about this at length, I hope you know the type of research that is going into reverse engineering this and finding the answers you're looking for. But I also hope it shows the amount of engineering that Switchio and Zillica and others, because I, I don't know if this is uh, Switchio's code base from the beginning. I don't know if they built on top of something else. I'm not that far in the... That, that's that's research for down the road. We'll, we'll deal with that in a few months. Or someone will just tell me. There's a lot of engineering that goes into this. And the reporting, if I can say it again and take five more seconds of your time, it's like looking at a speedometer and trying to get full information, trip stats on a road trip. We have to reframe that. This is a snapshot of right now, daily within this epoch, what's happening. Your ROI plus your yield is accidentally, intentionally, whatever, being misrepresented as a daily ROI. And then it's being annualized into your APY. This does not help everybody I know, but for those of you who have worked with finance, worked with accounting, trained in business, worked for businesses, whatever that case may be, this gets you nine tenths of the way there. For everyone else, I promise I will circle back and I will get everybody back up to speed on what's going on here. It'll, it, I can't say it'll be clear as day, but it'll be much more clear than uh, I think it currently is. All right. Take care, everybody. I'm going to go start my weekend.